On Dynamite, the singles match we got, as usual, was predictable, but it did serve a purpose. Sky Blue was going through her normal move set. She did an amazing crossbody from the ring apron to Ruby Soho ringside. There was a quick succession of near pins, more enthusiastically led by Ruby Soho. And the important thing here is, there was no interference from the other two outcasts. And it ended in a clean finish, which was amazing because that's what AEW used to be like. Yeah, so it was a no future, then into a destination unknown. Then after the match, Ruby Soho calls out Chris Statlander and wants a TBS title match. This should have happened when Jade Cargo was champion. The tag match on Rampage was pretty amazing. We got Britt Baker tagging with Hikaru Shida against the outcasts of Tony Storm and Soraya. In this match, we got a typical interference from Ruby Soho, one of the outcasts. She came down to the ring to beat up Britt Baker on the outside but Chris Statlander came down to the ring, picked up Ruby Soho on a firefighter's carry and carried her away from the match. I also liked the way Soraya was goading the crowd. She also said to the ref at one point she couldn't count. Hilarious. Then my favourite spot in this match was when Hikaru Shida was holding Tony Storm in a backbreaker and just dropped her to the ground and then suplexed Soraya on top of Tony Storm. This great match ended in shenanigans. Referee was distracted, Tony Storm sprayed Hikaru Shida in the face. Hikaru Shida inadvertently elbowed Britt Baker. Britt Baker got pinned by Soraya. And also, this was the main event. On Collision, we got a couple of good promos from Statlander and Ruby Soho forwarding their feud at all out. Then Mercedes Martinez and D.A. Monte looking mischievous when Willow Nightingale was having her match against Robin Renegade. And I was disappointed in it because it always seems when you bring out the Renegades they're booked to lose, even in Ring of Honor. And this was kind of a squash match even on the outside when Willow Nightingale suplexed both of the sisters. Although my favourite spot in this match was when Robin Renegade climbed to the top turnbuckle and did an amazing drop kick onto Willow Nightingale. But Willow Nightingale won with the Doctor Bomb. And I do like her and I hope they put a belt on her soon. The crowd love Willow. The four way at all in between Britt Baker, Sheeta, Tony Storm and Soraya was very story based. Soraya came down to the ring with her family. Her family then went into the crowd. Then the match started. Soraya and Tony Storm were arguing about who was going to pin Britt Baker. Next, Soraya's mum got involved when she was holding Britt Baker and Tony Storm was about to do a move. But Baker moved out of the way and Tony Storm hit Soraya's mum. The two outcasts began to argue. Ruby Soho comes down to the ring and Tony Storm hit Ruby Soho. The actual wrestling that did take place in this match was good. And it finished like this. Baker was struggling to put the lockjaw on Sheeta. Soraya spray paints Tony Storm and gets the free count. She is the new world champ. For me, I thought this was the wrong decision putting the belt on Soraya just because she's English and the pay-per-view was in England. But the only upside to this was Mercedes Monet was in the audience and hopefully she'll be clear to wrestle soon. I thought this was a good match, just wrong decision. Sheeta should have won.